Shower thought. This may actually be what Q meant with the Hunt for Red October references. As we all know in the movie, Ramius turns the sub right towards the torpedo, thus keeping it from being able to arm in time. Another time, he takes the sub to the last possible moment before steering the sub away from the wall. My point, we have steered right into the scare event, the Great Reset, in order to keep it from arming. By going warp speed, Trump took away their time to properly pull off the Great Reset. By steering it into it, we have disarmed it in the long run. Sure, the torpedo is scary as it heads right towards us, but it won't explode. In fact, it will be intercepted by the Great Awakening at the last possible moment. Sometimes you can't tell them. You have to show them. Let's see what happens. And then down below in this uh, Telegram post says the following. We had to experience a fraction of their diabolical plans because simply telling someone what they plan to do just doesn't suffice in waking up enough people. What has happened to us over the course of this year has left a permanent mark on people around the world. As hard as it is for people to accept, we are living on the best timeline. We've avoided far more suffering than we can really imagine. And as Trump once said, the future does not belong to a globalist. It belongs to a patriot. A generation of patriots are rising thanks to the very real precipice we have endured. I, I believe this is completely correct because we could have gone down the path of war. Remember, this was their 16-year plan to bring us to war. We could see cities destroyed. We could see towns destroyed, death everywhere. They wanted a civil war. Remember, the deep state, they don't care if you are living or if you're dead. Actually, they'd rather you be dead. Do they, are they afraid of a war? No, they want a war. Do they want a civil war? Of course they do. They're trying everything they possibly can to start something because they know it's better to have the people fight against each other than to have the people look at the true enemy. And it seems like we said in the very beginning, Trump right now, he is starting the next phase, the control of information. I'm talking about taking the bullhorn away from the deep state. Now, I just want you to listen to what Dan said during an interview about what they've been working on. And they've been working on this for quite a while. Take a listen. The truth of the matter is what they did was an absolute disgrace. And there's a lot of things we have going on right now behind the scenes, mm -hmm. as you know, with a lot of it that we're doing. What they have done by removing President Trump is they've made him stronger. Taking they don't know. Him, I think you're off, right. Taking him off Instagram, taking him off of Twitter, taking him off of Facebook, um, all those platforms out there that have removed they have made him stronger, all while behind the scenes. And I never talk about it all too much, but we are constantly meeting, and he's very involved yes. every single day, meeting with different companies, engineers, tech. They're going to make him stronger because what, he's gonna, what they have forced him to do is come up with something on his own, right, to message out. Right. And that's what we're working on every day. Just know to the Trump supporters that are out there, what we have going on behind the scenes, we're working every day. They have made him stronger, and we're going to come out with something that's just going to blow everybody away. Wow. They have forced him. They said, okay, you're off of our platform. Okay, no problem. What we have coming in the months ahead is big. I love I it. I never talk about it. I never tweet about it. I never post it on Facebook. Just know that we're working behind the scenes really hard to come up with some different various platforms for the president wow. and for everybody. Because, you know, conservatives are getting censored. This, is for, this would be for everybody. Nobody should be censored. I'm so excited to hear you say what you just said yeah. about the platform that ultimately I think we'll, we'll look forward to an announcement about in the, the future months. The reality is how dumb are these people? Yeah. The one person in the entire world that you decided to mess with on this yeah. was one of the greatest entrepreneurs, yeah. one of the greatest businessmen of all times, one of the greatest minds yeah. in the history of the world, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, they don't make them I, like Donald I, I, Trump. I completely, I completely agree. They poked a bear. And now they're going to get what's coming to them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And like Dan said, they poked a bear and now... There's no turning back. Now we're going to see the flow of information, which is free and transparent, telling everyone the truth. And it's going to be very, very different than the deep state. He's going to pull the power of the bullhorn away from them. And he's going to give it to we, the people. Think about what he's going to do now. Because it had to be done.